does it say? Jesus Christ born 25th of December. Let's check and see what it says about Jesus when he was born. Can you edit Jesus's Wikipedia page? I guess we should. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. I'm Josh. I'll be performing your wiki analysis today. Hello, Josh. Uh, John, a pleasure uh, to meet you. So, what we're doing here today is we want to look at your page. Uh, we want to scan it for accuracy, relevancy, and neutrality. Let's do it. So first, well, there are uh, several John Bradleys here, so I just want to disambiguate. Uh, are you or are you not John Bradley, actor, born 1960, an American television actor? Oh, well, despite appearances to the contrary, mm -hmm. I wasn't born in 1960, no. I, I didn't want to make any assumptions. No, no, no. Uh, and are you J. Robert Bradley, who died in 2007, an American gospel singer? No, well, well, no. If, if, if I was a gospel singer that died in 2007, mm -hmm. and I appear here in the flesh, mm -hmm. that's going to knock my gospel singer points up. People would be singing gospel songs about me. I'd, they... be, I'd be next gen. So, uh, uh, that's a no. That's a no. Well, Am I on there or not? There, John, John Bradley West, born yeah. 1988, credited as John Bradley, British actor. That's the fella. Perfect. Let's get into it. First thing that I'm going to flag here on your page okay. is what you have what we call a uh, stub. Oh. Your article is what we call a stub. I'm sure I've heard that somewhere before. Yeah, there's a quality scale yeah. of Wikipedia articles. So we've got a but feature. I'm not, but I'm not to take this personally, right? No, 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 no. Certainly not. It's sure. never nice to hear where you are on the quality scale of no. anything. No. I, you know. I should have thought of that before I opened it up. I'm, I, I can take it, don't worry. So, first class at the top, star, featured article status. Yeah. We're not there. Oh. Second is an article, it's a good article. Stop scrolling, for so, heaven's sake. And then here, down here we have a stub. It's oh, a, here's me. Yeah, there's you. I'm all the way down, a very basic description of the topic. However, all very bad quality articles will fall into this category. Oh, well, I don't like that company. Well, I'm not in good company here. No, very bad company. So that's why we're here. Here's your page image. Yeah. Very good. Smiling on that one. Smiling, looking very pleasant. That's such me circa 2016. Although judging by that, mm -hmm. if that's the only photographic evidence of 2016 you have to go off, it looks like a much better year than it was. Yeah. We also have 48,105 pages in the last 30 days. So oh. Things seem to be blossoming. They do. That's good news. But, but, but that, that, that's 48,105 people who've seen this. Oh, yes, that's true. So they're never coming back. Let's put a stop to this right now. So let's move into the article itself. OK. John Bradley West uh, is an English actor, correct? Correct. Apart from getting my name wrong. Oh, no. They are nailing it. But that's a creation, John Bradley hyphen West. Really? Yeah. But when I was at drama school, and they, they make you choose an acting name. Mm -hmm. I originally was going to be John Bradley, and then because I because I'm basically because I'm Catholic, mm -hmm. I carry an awful lot of guilt around. So I lost sleep about the West side of the family. I, I, I was worried that, that they'd feel that I was breaking away from them, trying to disassociate myself from the West side. So <laughs> from the West side, right? I thought the best way to fix this is to put the West back in, back in, hyphenate it, so they're included. And then realized it was a bit of a mouthful and I needed to kind of get over myself a little bit. Sure, three and, names. Yeah, so professionally I'm John Bradley. Personally, I'm John Bradley West. And John, and John Bradley hyphen West is just no one. Well, let's get rid of this hyphen. Goodbye forever. Oh, that's so nice to get rid of that hyphen. Happy to do it for, for you. For such a tiny thing, mm -hmm. it's been such a kind of, it's been such a kind of burden. Early life. This is, how, this is how much people are interested in my early life. Well... It's three sentences. Look, we can add a little bit more. Take this from very bad to merely bad. But don't you find that when people write kind of autobiographies, mm -hmm. that when they linger too long on their childhood and you think, well, until you're famous, this is anybody's childhood. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I, I always think, hurry up and get famous. Yeah. You grew up in the Wythenshaw? How'd I do with that? Withenshaw. Withenshaw, excuse me. Yeah. District of Manchester, where he attended St. Paul's Roman Catholic High School. Yeah, learned all the guilt there. Mm -hmm. Guilt studies, first thing Monday. He later graduated yep. from Loretto College. Loretto College. Loretto. Yep. 
uh, home. And hume. The, hume. Uh, I didn't think that these were such exotic words. Nope, but anything else pre-fame that you think is relevant? Um, no. I didn't have a, a, a friend that was a boy until I was 12 years old or something. And when other boys were, like, swapping football stickers and stuff, I was swapping pictures of the Spice Girls with my girlfriends. Who, which was your favorite Spice Girl? Jerry. In fact, I... Oh, here we go. Just one R there. Oh, gosh. One R in Jerry. I mean, I can, I, I can only take so much. I apologize. In fact, the, the truth of the matter is, a lot of people say, you know, why did you get into acting? Genuinely, I said to myself when I was about eight years old, I have to get famous in order to meet Jerry Halliwell. How did you in the last name? Doesn't look good. Can we try one L? I should know this. Sure. Sorry, Jerry. Still meet me. Uh, family? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I have some family. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Any, anything else people need to know about your early life? I think that's pretty much it. Career, even less interesting than the early life, by the yeah. way. Yeah, let's go through it. Maybe we let's can do answer it. Bradley's first appearance on television was in the drama Borgia. Not true. Not true. Not true at all. Was, hmm, where was it? Well, my first appearance on TV was probably in some part of some football crowd looking oh, gorm sure. looking gormless. But um, in terms of career, my first appearance on TV was Game of Thrones. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bradley plays the major character. Major character. Exciting. Yeah. Samuel Tarley? I thought you were going to question major character. I'd say he's pretty major. I think so, too. In the HBO fantasy TV series Game of Thrones, yep. his character is a friend of Kit Harington's Jon Snow and provides occasional comic relief. <sighs> That's it, is it? <laughs> That's all I provide, guys. What else do you provide? Uh, I, th I think providing occasional comic relief is such a season one, mm -hmm. Samuel. I didn't get rid of that. Well, if it still happened in season one, maybe yeah. uh, we can contextualize. In recent seasons... In recent seasons... He has... Uh, knocked it out of the park? Yeah. yeah. Does, it, does that sound... Does that sound modest enough? Yeah. I mean, nobody knows how big the park is. It's a pretty small park. Small park. It's a small park. But right. still, nice to knock it out. Oh, yeah. You can, you can only work with what you've got to work with, it's, right? It's not the size of the park, it's the force of the knocking. Oh, I like it. Thank you. Yeah. Citation needed. You've also done all sorts of other stuff on the show. You, uh, on, on a recent episode, you performed uh, experimental surgery. Yep. Yeah, how was that for occasional comic relief? Yeah. Uh, Is anyone surgery? Fallen in love, grown as a character. Some argue that he's a complete waste of screen time and drags the whole quality of the thing down a few pegs. Have you been reading the YouTube comments? Yeah. Mm. I'm back on Twitter, that's what it is. Oh, no. Give me a break, guys. Mostly. Uh, can, can, can we put a colossal waste of screen time? Oh, certainly. Time? So, uh, before we wrap this up, yeah. I'd like to show you your page view analysis over time. Oh! It looks like you spiked. Yesterday? Did I? Mm-hmm. Well, that's nice to know. So these lols here, mm -hmm. what, when was that? So this lol is November, December 2015. Oh, yeah, that was a bad time. Bad time. Terrible time. I just was not interested at all around that mm -hmm. time. I wonder what Jerry Halliwell's interest is. That's a great question. Because it's all me. Jerry Halliwell's interest thing just is completely dependent on how much free time I have. That you have. How, how much have you been I'll be able to judge day? my career and my days off by when she's had the most interest. Oh, oh wow. wow, look at that. Our, our recent peak was... This, this was Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, this one. To do. I had nothing on. Nothing to do. What about Jon Snow? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. People are very interested in Jon Snow. June of 2016. Was that when he wasn't dead anymore? That was when he wasn't dead anymore, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. When, when someone's not dead anymore, that yeah. is a focus of a lot of attention. But I'm not dead. You're Where's still, my interest? You're still not dead. But big difference between not dead anymore, still not dead. Yeah, so it's Kit and... Kit, like... Jesus. Jesus. They're the only two. Let's well, see how Kit yeah. compares to Jesus. 
Very, yeah. But like, this is Christmas. People are like, oh, happy birthday. Oh, it's good that people are thinking about Jesus on Christmas. Yeah. I don't think enough people do. Mm. Does it say Jesus Christ born 25th of December? Let's check and see when, uh, what it says about Jesus when he was born. This article about Jesus of Nazareth, right? Yeah, there he is. Yep. It doesn't say born 25th of December. No. It should do though, right? Yeah. Can you edit Jesus' Wikipedia page? I guess we should here. I, 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 think, I think it's tempting fate. Yeah. Game of Thrones fans are, are kind of powerful and, and irritable enough, but let's not incur the wrath of God. Sure. For God's sake. Can we add something to that to Samuel Tarley's? Yeah. Let's add something to Samuel Tarley's page that most people don't know. Can't we add um, just here? Yeah. Just put, if you think they're not keeping him around for a reason, you haven't been paying attention. Boom. Bosh.